not undefeated in, Jake. It was a ladder match. Multi-man match. A ladder match that he was in where he failed to get that cat in the case. They could have they could have skywalked him to another stratosphere. He well, it hasn't affected his popularity. Yeah. Relax. 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 And like I said, he better do just that when it comes to this top notch of an athlete he has standing across the ring in Devin Reno. Really, let's be honest here, Devin Reno has more to gain from this match than Damian Drake. For Damian Drake, it's another victory to build momentum on whatever quest he wants to go on next to further his career. For Devin Reno, this would be a gigantic upset and would probably get himself a full-time roster position in FSW. As he should, like I said, we are ushering in a new calendar year here at FSW. It's a full restart. Who is going to grab that brass ring? Who is going to move into the top tier talent here at FSW? And look at this match right now. You got Nevada's favorite son. I don't think you're going to be able to talk over them even with a microphone. I was really interrupted by this chaotic by the main fan customers by these chaotic fans at the FSW Arena. Damian Drake, like I said, the anniversary show. He stole the show. He did his flips. He, like I said, he jumped off the ladder at his moment. But like I said, did he leave out there a winner? No. In these last five weeks, I guarantee you, he's had time to just soak and milk all that loss and loss. I know he doesn't want to feel that way again. Yeah, well, Damian Drake's made a career of overcoming setbacks. He was able to do it all in 2021, finishing the year strong, winning the unguided war against Matt Vandegrift, defeating Davies Richards as the last man he pinned in the finals of the Limitless Tournament. Overcoming shoulder surgery that should have put a normal person out six to nine months. He was out in about four, he was recovered in about four months. Yeah, like you said, Good to see an athlete overcome big time surgery on his shoulder. You always love to see a big comeback story. But when are we going to see the climax of that comeback story, Jake? When are we going to see something else? When are we going to see Damian Drake hit that next tier? When are we going to see him hit that next gear and get some championship gold? All I've seen the last few rounds, some dead ends, some fuse that he has to come out on top of. Him. It's a new county, and let's see what Damian Drake can do with, it with his upstart in the Arizona's favorite son in Devarino. Well, right now, he's, he's really playing some, um, he's really using the ring to his advantage against Devin Reno. Devin Reno, very young in his career, not used to someone using that orthodox style. And he can not get easily frustrated as one of Damian Drake's strengths is that he can play good mind games, the best of them get you, get you out of the game really early. But what a response about Reno right now. Well, that's the thing, Jamie Drake's gonna do the wacky stuff, it's gonna get in your head, but when it comes time to deliver, Jamie Drake's gonna do that also. Look at this, look at this, pander it to the crowd, pander it to the crowd, what a showman, what a showman shit by Damian Drake. Let's get back to the match, come on now. Letting the Damian Drake fans get inside his head. After Damian Drake has just been several steps ahead of him this whole match. He's trying to grab that kid's sign and rip it up as he should. Remember Secrets of the Ring, that's our planted granny. Yeah. Take your time, you make him wait. Damian Jack came in here with his old wacky, unorganized office trying to get in his head, and this is Reno's response, and I like every minute of it. You don't let your guard down against Damian Drake. If there's anything, oh, I'll let them handle this. He just chopped his nipple off. No, not one more time. He severed his nipple off. Not one more time. Don't listen to these fans, these sick, blood-hungry fans. Now they're both gone. Pick it off. Pick it up off the floor. I blame you. I blame you, Jake. You over here pandering, chanting with the crowd one more time. One more time. What did Reno do to deserve that? Nothing. Yeah, I don't have emotions. Leave me out of this. Oh. Well, 
Devin Reno. Lord and Damian Drake distracted the ref. Oh! Wow, and right into the steal goes Drake. And that's the break that Devin Reno needed for this matchup. Well, he sent him right back into the tag team scene with that one, man. Right into the first row. Oh, Jesus. Somebody go check on Damian Drake. Somebody get him some milk. Get him what? Get him somebody, get him some milk. All these fans over here chanting, trying to, uh, over here bow mouthing, over here cussing, over here saying bad things to Reno. He's getting them back right now. Further punishing Damian Drake on the outside. And now he's dedicating the attack to the fans. Now he's slapping Damian's nipples off, as he should. Each one, teach one. But that's the thing even you would agree on. You have to stay on the attack with Damian Drake. He's insane resilience. Anyone who's been watching FSW at an extended period of time, they've seen Damian Drake grow from a very, very young man, not even a man yet, into what we see today, and that's a top-level competitor. I'm sorry, Jake. Everything you just said just went in one ear and out the other. I was just completely in awe from this God-given specimen of an athlete in Devin Reno. Look at the machismo on this guy. He's got the body, he's got the looks, he's got the hair. I think you and I need to go in, our, in, a, in on a thesaurus together. The way he describes, oh my God. Damian Drake, I hope he packs a mic this packs. With the wishbone, with the wishbone on him. Oh, it's over it. And that, man, Devin Reno. You might not like the way he's gained the advantage in this match. I don't like every bit of it. But the point is, he's gained the advantage. And he's done it his way. Yeah! And he almost, yeah, Reno is in the building. And you almost have to wonder the way Reno was frustrated by Damien in the earlier parts of this match. That's what's brought out this mean streak. He's dictating the pace of this match, Jake. You can't hate it, you're gonna learn to love it. This is how they do in Arizona. And he's bringing this style of wrestling right here to the state of Nevada, beating up on one of his top and brightest stars in Damian Drake. He can't do nothing about it. Get punched straight in the face. Uh-oh. He's hell wigging. Speaking of Arizona, he's got a little hell wig in him right now. Feeling the power of the warrior. Look at those colors. Oh, no, I was wrong. Wrong person. There you go. Oh, no. As you should, all that momentum Damian Dre just built up. Like you said, Shane's the ultimate warrior. Well, it turned out it was Hogan in the end. I was wrong. They took the words right out of my mouth, as you should. Well, he almost got canceled like Hogan the way he landed. Not only did he hit, his tailbone looked like on the edge of the ring. He tumbled right to the concrete. Look, mocking well, Damian Drake, mocking him, doing his own little signature pose. He was doing the of the match. Hey, like I said, that, and that's Damian's second hard tumble to the outside. But like I said, maybe the fact that Damian showed up Devin so many times in earlier part of this match, the frustration grew, and that served as motivation for Reno to inflict this beating on Damian Drake. That's a lot. That shows a lot for me, though. He could have easily stayed inside, got to count out victory. No, I want to go out. I want to beat up on the Dallas Favor Suns just a little bit more. I want to make that definitive statement and get this guy and beat him in front of all his friends and family here at the FSA Arena. Now he's two kids that look like minions in the front row. As he should. As he freaking should. Why? You hate that movie? I did hate that movie. I did hate it. It ain't got nothing on that new Jordan Peele movie that's going to come out called No. So yeah, nope, I did not go see Minions, they didn't get a piece of my money. But I'm gonna tell you who's gonna get all my money is the future star in Reno. Oh no, he's... Damian Drake returns the favor from earlier in this match. He's throwing stuff to the fans. How disrespectful. You gotta move, Reno. Tope Suicida out of Damian Drake. That wasn't necessary. And this is where Damian Drake is most dangerous. Air Drizzy. Air Drizzy. 
And a near fall gets Damian Drake a two. Damian Drake, one-on-one -on -one matches all year in an FSW ring, undefeated. He does not want that to end tonight. This that is, impressive streak. This, this is going to be detrimental to a downfall. You better stay on me out here crying to the ref. Why one not man three? Wait a second. Damian Drake is setting up a danger level 69. Reno was able to counter, but can't counter that knee strike. Blue, oh no. Super blue thunderball from Devin Reno. Call it in, it's over with. Spun him around and then launched him hard into the canvas. Only gets a two. You cheat step, Jake. That was a one, two, three. You cheat step. I don't know. If, you, if you're going to try to call shenanigans on a count, you can choose a closer one than that. And Devin Reno not staying on the attack. And when you can't do that against a man with the accomplishments of Damian Drake, I think you're setting yourself up for failure. Oh, that little girl will be getting into my skin too. Over here shouting all these nasty things to Reno. And anyway, I would I would have parked back at her too. Inside cradle counter. Oh no, wait, no way. Damian Drake not even to lock his own ankles to get that in tight, still gets a two out of it. Reno still in this. Come on now. Come on now, do this for Arizona, baby. Do this for Arizona. Get him up there. It's literally our neighboring state. Oh, danger level 69. No way. Oh, do it. Your winner, Damian Drake. Another win for Damian Drake.